my fucks every day up. Every day patches done right up. What's good, YouTube? It's your man Spike Lee, waviest boss in the game. Know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. Lydia's. Today we here with a new single from Chance the Rapper featuring Joey, badass. Chance the Rapper been dropping heat, but it's been low key. People started hating on him, just throwing hate. But I guess he got low key and started. It's kind of, it kind of making me feel like he's back to like being underground, really. Chance getting back in his bag, and I just hope Joey gets back in his bag. Joey shit was cool because he did have. Yeah, yeah, uh, head high. Like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that shit. Yeah, that whole. I, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna say I listened to the whole like the three pack, but I don't remember it being anything that was like bad up there. But I also don't remember anything being extraordinary lyrically. Maybe I gotta go back to it because y'all probably like took this song was hard as shit. But like 1999, Joey is top tier Joey. That's when he was giving bars. Like he was giving metaphors, giving punchlines, punchlines. He, I feel like he that don't. Was a masterpiece. Yeah, I feel like he don't do the punchline rap like that no more. He's, I feel like he's the type to talk less to say more, but like at that moment he was saying a lot. Like I want him back on saying a lot. But he definitely still, he's rapping about deeper things. Like he's more of a conscious rapper now than just giving bars. He was a conscious rapper with songs like Hard Knock. He was I want that joy back because this album is a, a sequel. To 1999. If 2000 is anything like 1999, that is album of the year worthy right there. He ain't dropped because of sample problems, but when Drake announced that he would drop in the same day, everybody was just like, oh nah, this nigga tried to run from Drake. I mean, maybe it is really the sample problem, but who knows. But today we're here to get into the highs and the lows. For real. I'm an emotional roller coaster. We're high so high, I could put bowl bowl on a poster. Yeah. But when the bread hit low, like four loaves and a toaster. Uh -huh. the shoulders can't get cold as ten toes in Nova Scotia. Yeah. Oh. Like this nigga came out spitting. First of all, he said, I'm an emotional roller coaster. Roller coaster go, you know, up, down. Up and down. He said, so we're high so high, I could. I could put Bobo Bo on a poster. Bobo Bo is the tallest the player tallest nigga. in the NBA right now. But when the bread get low, it's like four loaves in a toaster. Four loaves in a toaster. Because that's all you can put in there because you only got four bread. But you know, the bread go down, like getting low. Right. And the bread is money. So, right. And you know, he said high, the high is the Bobo Bo line. The low is the toast line. But he said the roller coaster, so it's going high and low. High and low. Right. That's hard. <laughs> days I hold a grudge. Some days I hold a ghost. Some days I just ghost. Yeah. Some days I'm supposed to. The crib feel like a gunfight, but them strollers, that's the holster. Ooh. We can make amends over old memes and the most. Sheesh. That was hard. Damn. It sounded like I caught the cold shoulder line. Sometimes I hold grudges. Sometimes I holy ghoster. I guess holy ghoster. Sometimes I just ghost her. Yeah, I guess holy ghoster maybe mean like praying about her or like, or like, or it can mean like, because in the Bible they say, um, basically you need to forgive and forget and stuff. So maybe he's forgiving her. Forgive and forget. But... Sometimes he ghosts her because he felt like she don't deserve forgiveness. Some days I hold a grudge, some days I hold a ghost her. Some days I just ghost her. Some days I'm supposed to. The crib feel like a gunfight, but them strollers, that's the whole thing. Uh -huh. That shit was hard. This nigga is like, hard. I guess he's talking about like a relationship and like, he said the crib is a gunfight. You know, like when people Our talk goodness. about their. That girlfriend, they saying, yeah, they have trouble at like at home type shit. Is it he getting in all these fights with a girl? But he said the stroller is the holster. You no know, holsters keep the gun safe. Lot. I guess they probably had a child or something. That's that's the only time they're having like good conversation. Cause you know you don't want to be arguing in front of the baby. 
Of then he gonna grow up with all this trauma and toxicity he ain't need. Strollers, that's the whole story. Uh -huh. We can make amends over old memes and mimosas. Yeah. My mama know I ain't make my bed, but I'ma lay in it. Uh -huh. Whether it's sandpaper, suede linen, whether I'm alone, a Creole lady, mama laid in it. This uh -huh. When you make your bed, you gotta lay in it, meaning like, uh, basically, you gotta face the consequences of your actions. He didn't make his bed up, so he's facing the consequences. Mm -hmm. Rather, if it's sandpaper, like, rather if it's basically saying rather if it's no matter what type of material is it cause you know if you land in sandpaper that shit that, that ain't shit gonna work hurt. for real so he's saying rather no matter what's happening I'm facing the consequences. Chance going off and we ain't even get into it yet. <laughs> chance of meatballs, I checked the weather. I gave all my vices a call, let's get together. To talk about the highs and lows, the ups and downs. To work out the highs and lows, the ups and downs. No need to hide, the skies is coming down. Go and get high, I promise you're coming down. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Coming down, coming down. Coming down. Hey, so he backs on the road. Gotta take the highs with the lows. I was feeling lifeless. I had to cut my vices. Now the feeling that I feel is priceless. Just got so used to feedback. I couldn't tell what mine is. Sometimes all the outside noise just really blinds us. Beware. Believe none of what you see and half of what you hear. The best things in life on the opposite side of fear. Lifeless. I had to cut. That was that was hard. The outside noise can really blind us. Yeah, he said believe blind is vision, uh noise is hearing. He said believe none of what you see in half of what you hear. None of what you see in half of what you hear. The best things in life on the opposite side of fear. Oh, there you go. The best things in life are on the opposite opposite side of fear. And that's a big fact. He said, wanna be numb, now your thumb back flicking the flame. That's I know that's fire. I know that's about smoking. Yeah, so. like when you going through pain, some niggas smoke their, yeah. their, their way out of For what real. they're going through. So now you back flicking the lighter. Now your thumb back flicking the flame, back to square one, trying to overcome what you became. Like they was right, I guess you're never gonna change. I guess you're never gonna change. Yo, I ain't finna lie, I missed this nigga chance. Like, his vocals hitting on this motherfucker. I ain't even finna lie. With the lows, with the lows. To talk about the highs and lows, the ups and downs. Yeah. The friends that I had to hide to come around. Yeah. I'm coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. Damn. This is so hard. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, some of them songs that let the beat ride, that sometimes you don't even know the beat hard until that happens. That shit started slapping, I ain't finna lie. Yo, the drums in this bitch hard. Under you them worldwide, under you them are the truth in it. Yes, but yeah, that song was very dope. I feel like um, it's definitely a relatable song. Everybody can relate to it. Um, Cause you got the highs and the lows. Everybody life. I'm an emotional roller coaster. Why I so high like a bobo on a poster or something <laughs> like that. But everybody got highs and lows in their life. They got their ups and downs. Life is like a roller coaster, but um, Chance definitely delivered. His, his verse was very like that. Shit was hard. I'll give Chance. I, I like Chance verse better than um, Joey. Yeah, me too. I just, I just want 1999 Joey back, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Joey was just cool. He wasn't. He was just cool. Like that's what that's exactly what I mean when I say he's talking less, like, but he's still saying a yeah. lot. But he's not approaching it wrong. In his mind, he like the the metaphors and shit that I used to do was kind of unnecessary. He just want people to feel, basically. I don't like that. I'm gonna be honest. I love the metaphors, bro. I love them bars. I could fuck with this. I will fuck with the bars a lot more, bro. Can't fuck with too much of it. He did have a good passing of his best friend, Capital Steve. He was supposed to be like one of the best lyricists and metaphors and all that. So I feel like. He pushed him, he pushed Joey to be like that. So if he's not here, then Joey really just on some conscious shit now. I want that survival Texas Joey. Like, niggas don't want war, I'm a Martian. What an army of Spartan. I don't even take a clue or not. Yeah, so that's the same Joey to me. But it's definitely not spit more than speech impediment. Nah, I ain't finna lie. Survival taxes get so much love, but I think Illuminati <laughs> was a different bag, bro. I'm expecting to hear from this nigga Joey, and 
I should be caring for my man too. But don't get me wrong. Don't. I, I hope y'all don't look at this and think I think it's a bad verse. This is a good verse. I just won the Joey from 1999. Hopefully we get that with his new album. We gonna look out for us when that album drop, when Chance album drop, any album drop. If we not there, then let us know. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on this track. Um, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Make sure you have a wonderful day. Receive a lot of blessings, money, positivity for the day tomorrow, forever. Have a great day. Spike Lee tuning out. Wavy as boss, gang gang. Up next, yeah. See y'all next time.